Alright, we are going to start the Rice Krispie Treats by melting some butter. And I will have all the measurements, the recipe down below in the description box. Okay, and to this we're going to add our peanut butter so that it could start to melt. Okay, we're going to add our vanilla, our salt. Give that a little mix and we're going to start adding in our marshmallows. And we're going to get these melted. Okay, now that that's melted, we're going to add in our graham crackers and then our cereal. Okay, turn the heat off. Okay, then I brought my tray over here, a 9 by 13. I do have some parchment paper on there. We are going to add in our treats in here. And we're going to press them down. And hopefully we can get them pressed down before they get cold. I'm going to put them on the counter so that they can set and uh, come to room temperature. And then we'll start to cut the crispy treats. I'll be back. Alright everybody, we're back. I transferred the treats into a smaller pan just to make it easy to handle. And what we're going to do next, I melted some of this uh, white bark, coating bark. It's like chocolate candy that you melt and you can use it to decorate, you know, different things. So what I'm going to do to this portion of it is I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring. I'm going to see if I can get it a, a light pink color. Okay, and that's good enough. You pick the colors however you like. If you want it darker, go darker. I happen to like it pink. I already put some white in one of these uh, piping bags. Okay, we're going to use this. And I'm going to use my little tie so the chocolate doesn't, doesn't drip out. That. Let's go ahead and fill this one with the pink. And all I do is fold the bag in half like that. And I get a little cup. You see if you can see here. And I just stick the tip in there. That's just so it can hold it so that I can pour my chocolate in. We'll put a little clip on this one as well. And over here I have a variety of little bags and stuff. I'll show you here in a minute as we go through. I have some skewers. So what we're going to do before I even cut this, what we are going to do is we're going to decorate the top of it. Cut off a tip, the tip of the piping bag, not too big, not too small, I gotta go a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go side to side and decorate this with the chocolate. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some with the white. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my sprinkles and start putting some sprinkles on it. Do whatever sprinkles you like. It doesn't matter whatever you like. You don't have to do it all one sprinkle. You can mix it up. And I can do this corner like this. But you gotta do it while the, the chocolate is still uh, wet. So you kinda have to move a little quick. And then I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna add some more chocolate so that I could add some more sprinkles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, now I'm gonna sprinkle some more. And then just press them down so that they can stick to the chocolate. And I just put some a couple here and there. I think that's enough with the sprinkles. Let's sprinkle some more of these over here. Might as well finish these. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish off with the chocolate one more time so that the sprinkles can adhere real nice. Okay, and that's going to be it for this. That's enough. But you decorate it however you want to. So it's going to look like that at this point. I'm going to pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then I will be back. All right, guys, we're back. The chocolate has set. Now, there are several ways you can do this. You can cut it into just squares, just the way the normal Rice Krispie treats are. Or you can use cookie cutters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you 
and you can do different sizes you know whatever you have and I'm gonna do both I'm gonna cut a heart and I'm gonna cut um, the squares I'm gonna try not to waste anything so I'm trying to be real careful on the placement and it might be a little hard because it's been in the refrigerator and try not to waste any and then of course the cook gets the ends And then you just clean it up here. Hello. And look at that. How cute that is. Okay, so we're gonna place this down. And there's the other one. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. Now these, we're gonna cut them into little squares. Let's see if we can get them perfect size here. Now, I found these little popsicle sticks that are so pretty. I will leave these linked for you down below. Look at that, how pretty they're rhinestones. They have a variety of colors. They have gold, green, all kinds of colors. So what I'm going to do with each of these bars is I'm going to dip it in a little bit of the melted chocolate. And then we're going to find the middle here. And you might lose some sprinkles here and there, but that's okay. And look at how pretty that is. Okay, and then you just let the little stick dry and we'll move on to the other ones. Or if you don't wanna, you know, make an expense for those, you can use the wooden dowels, the wooden sticks. Okay, and then we just let it dry. All right, so after you cut all your Rice Krispie treats and everything, decide what you're going to put on them. I have a little variety of bags here, and what I like to do with them is, like this one, this iridescent one, this one's so pretty for so all kinds of stuff. Let me see if this one fits in here. I'm going to cut off some of this lower part so that you can see the, the nice rhinestone stick there. And I will try to find these bags and link them. If not, you can get them at your local Walmart. And then you just put a little tie on there. Curly ribbon. like to receive that. Isn't that the cutest thing? And that this popsicle stick is just so extra, so cute. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try a different bag, a different look. Let's try this one here. Look at that. How cute that is. Okay, guys. Well, this is going to conclude my video and my little idea for you for Valentine's Day if you don't want to go and spend a whole bunch of money. And look at that. They're very cute, very easy to make. I will list everything down below if I can find it. If not, like I said, the bags, you can find them at the Dollar Tree. You can also find the, um, the skewers at the Dollar Tree. And the rest, well, you can pretty much get it at the grocery store. If not, the links will be in the description box below. Don't forget, if you enjoy my content, thumbs up. And don't forget to share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.